Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living. Once again, it's another gray, cold, windy day. And uh, it's kind of sad when you kind of sit in this time of year because none of the flowers are really blooming. It's not very green. The grass is kind of brown. The water systems are off. The f leaves of fall, you know, of fall, they'll fell down and the grasses, nothing but leaves and things like that. It's almost depressing, but it's also insightful knowing that uh, this place will come to life pretty soon. This is normally all green, and sorry about the wind. And I usually have my tomatoes here. I do have my trigger out, but it's uh, really cold when I'm cooking. And uh, all the pots are empty. Um, projects are going really slow and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to uh, when things uh, start coming to life on the homestead here we've got so much coming up uh, pellet stoves coming in this week people are eventually gonna get the siding done uh, structures to build rabbit hutches we are gonna go with American rabbits once again, I told you, I think uh, we're working with Sprague River Homestead to get our rabbits. Uh, another thing I'd like to do is bring in some chucker. But hopefully I have enough time to build all these pens. And uh, the rabbit hutches, we want them to be kind of roomy. I just don't want to get rabbits and just stick them in a little small area and, and not let them thrive. So... We're really contemplating what that rabbit hutch design is going to look like. So, uh, yeah, that's this is the time of year to kind of plan things out. Uh, we've got to start planning what we're going to do with this garden. Make sure we have our seeds, which we have most of it. Uh, we need a fence. If you haven't noticed, I have two rambunctious dogs. This whole area will get fenced before we plant it, but we still got to bring some more uh, compost in on this, blend it one more time, and then add in our water system. That'll be pretty easy. And uh, we should have a flourishing garden. By then we'll have our freeze dryer. That'll be really cool. And here's our little ladies. Hi girls! They actually look like they're doing pretty good. Uh, let's go see what kind of gifts they give us. <laughs> I still got to remind you, remember the days? Come out here, nothing. That's what we've got today. Well, we got two eggs there, one egg there. I want to remind you that one of them, each one of those have a ceramic egg in it. And uh, see what we got over in this side. Like I said, they've never laid an egg on this side yet. Look at that. Brand new egg right there. Thank you, girls. Nice. They're so proud of themselves leaving us eggs. So, uh, yeah, let me grab some eggs and, uh, We'll talk some more. Well, we got four eggs today. Got them this cleaned up. Pretty happy about that. Um, something is also kind of sad. I don't know if you've noticed oh, while I was doing any photos earlier. Is uh, look here. Because of the COVID, we weren't able to get our uh, presents to the grandkids, and uh, it's kind of sad. But uh, we knew we needed to give them a couple of days because they got a friend of theirs exposed my my son and her uh, kids to COVID so they're kind of keeping their distance 
which in turn really messed up our Christmas. We also, once again, we got the pellet stove coming in this week. The other thing that we're starting to take a look at is the green room. So this is the green room. And uh, yes, it even has some exercise equipment in it. So uh, <coughs> we're starting to get this ready. Uh, we actually have some broccoli starters here. Uh, we were going to put them out in the other garden, but uh, anyway, so they've just been sitting there kind of growing. So we'll probably plant them uh, when we think we're over our last frost. Uh, these uh, are uh, st um, places to put our seedlings. We can actually take these little pieces of uh, metal and put them across here too. So we can put seedlings here, seedlings here. It's relatively 50 degrees or so in here. No heating. Uh, we also have some of the house plants that were in here. Um, actually, they're flourishing. And uh, so this room will really change a lot when we start getting our seedlings in here. So uh, that's not that far away. And uh, with the new pellet stove, we should be getting actually more heat in here. But once again, we don't, we don't want it the same room temperature as a house, but uh, a great place to keep our seedlings until they're ready to go outside. So, yeah, uh, this is also where we put some of our pellets for the pellet stove. And it'll be interesting to learn how to live life with a pellet stove and how it affects our heating in the whole house. So, uh, yeah, this room's going to come to life, something fierce. Hi guys, that was my day today. Um, picked up about four eggs today. Did a little walk in the yard. Kind of uh, sad to see everything still dormant. Um, thought I'd enjoy a cup of coffee. And uh, I decided to do some of those side um, pictures that you saw in this video using uh, what I call a Canon G40 is what we use. It's a beautiful little camera and we love it. And uh, the other thing you probably didn't know is most, well, you probably know, but most of the time I do my stuff with GoPro. Uh, what a convenient camera. <laughs> These are actually GoPro 3s. I have more than one. And uh, the reason I like it is the new newer GoPros, actually, they've complained ever since that the sound hasn't been as good as the older ones. So I've been sticking with my, I'm going to run these till they drop. And uh, believe me, they've got some uh, issues, but uh, they're definitely still working well. And, uh, you know, why spend money on, on crazy equipment until if you're doing all right with what you got? So <clears throat> anyway, uh, big year this year. Just wanted to kind of this this week's going to be kind of tying in with you. Big changes. We changed our lives a lot around here. And um, uh, I actually gave up uh, my radio station and television stuff to uh one is to slow down a little bit. Well, it's not to slow down, but um, to use my time more wisely. Uh, I have so many things coming on to the homestead, and uh, uh, a lot of work needs to be done. And right now is kind of that transition of just planning, but I wish we could uh, be out there working. Uh, it's still cold and windy, things like that. And so uh, uh, I'm kind of trying to create the mood for you uh, guys to kind of realize we're in that mode right now of, of waiting uh, for the season to begin, uh, get our project started, and uh, start showing you how we build all of our stuff. And <clears throat> this homestead also has so much stuff that we need to get rid of. Um, that's going to be quite a project. So this spring, I think we're having a estate sale. And uh, yeah, it just goes on and on. So... And the big thing I wanted to also tell you is continue prepping. <clears throat> I don't know what the future is going to bring, but it sure looks a little rocky. And uh, make sure you have a lot of extra food, a couple of flashlights around. Um, be able to cook something. If, uh, if you got a little Coleman stove or something that you can put out in the porch uh, or something, just in case you need to heat up water. Um, 
I'm not going to go into the miseries of what could happen, but it should be nice to know you have stuff ready in case you need, uh, uh, we have any issues for a while. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Um, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Please say, um, down in the comments below, say hello. Tell me what you're doing, getting ready for spring to come. Um, are you uh, are you even thinking about, hey, maybe I'm going to go try to buy some property or do something now since the interest rates are low or whatever. Um, so you have a little more yard um, to do some of your own growing. I'd love to hear what you're doing. Are you doing anything? Are you concerned? I'd love to know. So anyway, guys, please be safe. Please make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. We appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.